Hi, Camilla. It's Annabelle. Do you remember me? Wow, it's been so long. It's been like four years since we last talked, right? Everyone will be so excited when I tell them you called. How are you? Don't ask me how I am because I'm not okay. Camilla, I'm huge and I'm pregnant. And everything in this world is driving me crazy. You're pregnant? Oh my god, that's amazing. And who else knows? Does Robert know? What about your parents? Oh my god, just stop talking. You're giving me a headache. That's too many questions. I can't breathe normally. I can't think normally. I can't do anything that I used to do because of this giant belly. I can't even put on my socks by myself. I can't clean myself when I go to the bathroom either. I couldn't even get out of the bed without struggling for five minutes this morning. So I'm not okay. So don't you dare ask me how I'm doing, because that's my answer. Oh, wow. Don't worry, I get it. I won't ask you how you're doing. I just wanted to say congrats on your pregnancy, but fine. You better not, you moron. A moron? Why are you calling me that? I was just happy to hear from you and to hear that you're having a baby. Shut up, Camilla! Don't push me! Okay, fine. So, what can I do? Did you need something? Yes, I did. Otherwise, I wouldn't be calling you, would I? Why are you so stupid? Okay. Annabelle, do you want to call me later? Because if this is a bad time, then I'm totally free this weekend or something. No, I'm calling you right now for a reason, so just let me finish. Just close your mouth and listen to me. The reason why I called you is because I want to move out, okay? Move out from where? My parents' place, you dummy. Why do I have to move out? Because I said so, and you're the outsider here, so move out. But I'm a part of your family now, Annabelle. Aren't I? Just because you're married to my brother, that doesn't make you family. So just shut up and get out of my house. Pack your stuff and go. Oh my god, Annabelle. Please, calm down a bit. Here, take some deep breaths. All this stress can't be good for you or the baby. Oh, what makes you think you know what's good for me, huh? You don't know anything. Okay, but let's think about this logically for a minute. I have some questions. So, let's clear some things up. You're telling me to move out. But do you mean to just move to another room in the house? Or leave the house altogether? Leave the house, obviously. I don't even want to see your face. Wow, that's a stab in the heart. And so then, where would I go? Do you think I'd know the answer to that? Okay, so you want me to leave the house. And is that just me, or Robert as well? Well, you're actually literally the most idiotic person ever, Camilla. Seriously? I just told you that I want to be with family. Does that include my brother? Yes, so of course he can stay. You're the one I despise. So it's you who needs to get out of house. I just wanted to check with you, since this came out of the blue. Does anyone know about this? Like Robert or your mom or dad? Already told mom about it, and I don't need your approval as long as I get theirs. Okay, well, Annabelle, I'm not trying to be rude here, but for four years, you've been a ghost to all of us. You haven't even bothered to visit the house to see your parents, or any of us. Not even once. So, can you understand why it's a shock to me when you texted me like this? It'll stun everyone else too, I'm sure. Wasn't your mom shocked when you told her? Nope. She was fine about it, and I knew she would be. She's my mom, so what do you expect? Okay, but you just randomly showed up to tell us that you're going to come back home, and then you're throwing me out? When I've lived here all this time. It doesn't make sense to me. I mean, does it make sense to you? Of course it does. I'm pregnant, and I have to live with my mom and my dad so that they can support me with my baby. There's no room for me in that house because you were there, so it only makes sense if you move out. 
How much more clear can I get? But you could have at least given me some warning. You didn't even think about where I was supposed to go? You can't just do this to someone like that. Oh, boo-hoo, okay. Life, it ain't easy. Just go and sort it out on your own like an adult. Well, why don't you act like an adult and do the right thing here instead of throwing me out like this? Camilla, I don't have time for all this nonsense. I'm pregnant and my hormones are going crazy. You wouldn't know how this feels since you've never been pregnant. I want to eat mom's food and I need her help right now. And when the baby is born, I need her to take care of me and the newborn for a while. Get it? Where else am I supposed to go? Can't you just stay at home with your husband and get his help? Oh my god, why are you asking so many questions? Can't you just be a nice, helpful sister-in-law and do this for me? Think of it as a favor you're doing for me. You're using my old room and I want it back. Sure, it's yours, but it's practically ours now. There is not much that belongs to you in there. We can't just empty the room. Oh hey, I know. How about the guest room? I know it's not being used as that, and it's more for storage, but we can organize it and make space there for you and the baby, right? You're telling me to stay in the guest room in my own house? It's a smaller room, but I think it's doable, no? That is not for you to decide, Camilla. I'm seriously about to snap here. Just leave! Why would I want to move into a smaller room when there's a larger room that's actually mine? What if I lose the baby from all the stress of living in a small, dark room like that, huh? You never even thought about that? But it's not that small or dark, is it? Mom and Dad agreed, and she's fine with it, okay? She really did? And your dad, too? Of course, they're ecstatic about their daughter coming back home. Do you even know what my dad said about you? Well, he said that you're this useless daughter-in-law who doesn't lift a finger at home except live off his son's income. He's fed up with you. And he doesn't want to see your face around the house. And he wants you guys to get lost and leave him and my mom alone. Wow. You're really sure about that, right? Yes, of course. Why would I lie? Well, if that's true, then I can't tell you how devastated that makes me feel. And why the heck are you devastated? You've been mooching off my parents' house for free all this time. You should be thankful and let them be free from living with an intruder like you. But, like I said before, I'm married to your brother. So, I'm not an intruder, am I? You're the only one who seems to think that. And besides, I don't live at your parents' for free. Enough! I know what you're going to say. Of course, you're going to say that you don't live there for free. And is that because you think you do all the chores and everything? Do you think you're repaying them for giving you a shelter over your head by doing the chores? Well, yes, that's true. But I also pay my rent, too. Oh, do you? Really? But still, my parents probably don't want you there. And I would know, since I'm their daughter. Don't you think that it's time to get your own place with Robert anyway? Yes, and we've always wanted to get our own home, actually. Perfect! This is the best timing, right? My mom and dad are going to be perfectly fine without the both of you, so don't worry. Make your dreams come true. Go and live in your dream house, okay? Okay, fine. But you know what? We can't move right away. We need more time. Like, how much time more do you need? Do you even have that much stuff to pack? Listen, I'm moving in tomorrow afternoon, okay? Tomorrow afternoon? Yep, so I'm going to need you to get out now. Okay, I will. We will both move out. Great! Finally, you've come to your senses. I expect my old room to be completely clean and tidy then. Now, I'm going to finish the rest of my packing here. Then bye! Oh my god, what the hell is happening? Why is my dad acting like that? Why is he shitting everywhere? Who the fuck is going to clean that up? And why the hell is he doing this? What is wrong with him? Answer me! Uh, so you've seen that happen already? What do you mean? That's what he does when he gets anxious or stressed. Huh? Why is he stressed? 
Are you saying that he's done this more than once? Oh my gosh, this is revolting. Why didn't you tell me about this before? You could have warned me about it. Well, I'm sorry, but I tried to tell you things. But you never gave me a real chance to talk. And I did tell you that you're going to regret it. Remember that? Yes, but I didn't think you mean it. I had no clue what you were talking about, so I wasn't even listening to you. He's yelling at me for food now. Well, it's past his lunchtime. Haven't you given him anything to eat yet? And what about your mom? What's she doing? She's gone out somewhere. I didn't even see her this morning. When I woke up, she was already gone. Where did she go? Oh, she usually likes to go on her long walks in the morning, but it is strange that she hasn't come back home yet. And it's past 2 p.m. I'm sorry, I can't help you out there. What the hell? So, it's just me and my dad alone in this house? And he can't control his appetite or his bowels. Is that what you're telling me? Oh my god, what the hell do you think you're doing to me? I didn't ask for this, and I didn't come back home after four years to come back to this. You need to come back here and help me out. Oh, I don't think so. I only did what you asked me to, remember? I'm having a nice and cozy staycation with Robert now, just sitting beside the pool, drinking a nice fruity mocktail. So I'm sorry to hear what you're going through, Annabelle, but you're only getting what you asked for here. No, this is all your fault. Come back here and fix this. Get Robert to come here. This is his responsibility to, you know? Responsibility? Annabelle, if I recall, you were the one who left the house, making me and Robert responsible for your mom and dad. Aren't you the one that should be stepping up to the plate? Since you've missed out on everything all these years, We've passed the baton to you now, and only because you asked. So, take it and run with it. No, that's not true. I never asked for this. Oh my god, Dad's screaming at me again. I think he's hungry. I can't make out what he's saying. Why is he being like this? Annabelle, your dad has dementia. Dementia? But he was fine before I left his house. Oh my god, dementia? Really? But he was a lawyer. He's been using his brain for years. That can't be right. Well, I'm afraid it is, Annabelle. The medical records that prove it should be somewhere in his room. Oh my god, what hell am I going to do now? Well, I would first suggest you give him something to eat. He likes oatmeal with eggs and a sprinkle of salt and pepper. You can make him that. What? Okay, fine. I'll go and make it. But what about his diapers? Why is he wearing diapers now? Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention that little detail, but yes, he is. You'd have to change him like a baby since he soiled himself. I suggest you drag him to the bathroom and hose him down, then feed him his lunch. Oh god, no. This can't be happening. I'm not going to play nurse for him. And I'm not going to watch him shower. That's sick. I can't do this. I need help. Camilla, please come back here and show me what to do. Sorry, but I'm not moving an inch from here. You're on your own. Oh god, Camilla, you can't do this to me. This isn't fair. You want to talk about fair, Annabelle? How about I had to sacrifice my dream of buying a new home with Robert after we got married? And move in with your parents instead to look after them. Your dad has lost his mind, and your mom doesn't give a damn. I never even had a proper honeymoon with Robert because of this mess. And four years, Annabelle. Four damn years. I've been stuck here with them. That's what you call unfair, okay? I deserve to break free from this hell and live my life with Robert. I deserve to be with my husband so we can plan our future together. And you're the one who showed up out of the blue. So you deal with this now. Oh god, this is crazy. I can't do this. 
What about a nursing home? Can we just dump him there? Go ahead. Try it. You think Robert and I haven't thought of that already? Well, first of all, your dad refused. He wanted to stay home with his family. So we had to honor his wishes, right? And second of all, this is something that's hard to break to you. So brace yourself, Annabelle. Also, your mom blew all of his retirement money. So even if we wanted to, he couldn't afford to live in a nursing home anyway. What? Tell me you're joking. I'm not. And it's true. And your dad has no clue. Well, he forgets about it because of his dementia. He was a lawyer, Camilla. My dad was a successful, rich lawyer, and he had tons of retirement money. Yeah, we found out that your mom had spent over $200,000 on his credit card in the last four years. And when she maxed it out, that's when we realized that that was all he had. But it's all gone now. All of it? Mom spent all of it? Yeah, Robert and I have been handling the finances ever since. And that was at the start of this year? Now that we've moved out and you've moved in, you're going to have to take over the finances yourself. Starting with the mortgage and the bills. No, this can't be real. I came back here because I thought Dad was rolling in cash and I thought he could help me out with this money to raise my kid. You know, Annabelle, I've been meaning to ask you, and I think I did ask you before, but where is your husband in all this? I don't see him anywhere. Why can't he help you? Where is he? Anyway. Oh God, I can't believe you're asking me this again. I can't believe how nosy you are. That's none of your business, Camilla. Okay, fine. Then I can't help you out here at all. I've got to go now. So good luck with your mom and dad. Wait! Uh, I don't know who the baby daddy is, okay? I told you the truth. Are you happy now? Oh, wow. You have got to be kidding me, Annabelle. How can you not know that? Did you get pregnant from a white knight stand or something? You're so annoying, Camilla. Oh my god. Is it... Am I right? Oh shoot. You really are pregnant from a one night stand. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Hey, watch your mouth, Camilla. You have no idea what happened to me, okay? I was just out at a bar one night drinking with my girlfriends, and this guy came hitting on me, and he was cute, and we spoke, and we just headed off. Wow. You slept with him, and now you're pregnant? Whatever, Camilla. You think you know me, but you don't. Oh. I don't need to know you any more than I do now, you airhead. What? Did you just call me? An airhead. How could you do this to yourself? How could you embarrass yourself like this? So you have no idea who this guy is? Do you have his number? No, I was drunk when we met. How about your friends? You said you went drinking with them. Do they know anything? Don't you think I've tried that already? Oh, wow. And I assume that your husband has no idea about this either? Oh, Greg doesn't know about any of this. He'd strangle me if I told him that I cheated on him. I obviously can tell him that this is his baby either. Well, at least you're thinking properly there. Shut up, Camilla! Oh my god, I don't believe this is happening. No wonder you wanted to move back in with your mom and dad. Okay, well, let's talk about that then. Now that I've told you the truth, you can help me out now, right? Let alone me being pregnant. Right. But like I said, Robert and I have already moved out. So there's not much I can do, is there? Besides, we've been looking around for a home. It's going to be our first one, and we're having fun with it. We actually thought this is a great opportunity to start looking for a house. So you can't take it back now. Annabelle, I told you that you can't, didn't I? No, but that was before you told me about all this. It was before everything. So it doesn't count. Please, I need your help. Oh my god, mom's back! 
Oh, good. Maybe you guys can have a nice little chat and she can help you. Camilla, answer me. For God's sake, Mama's gone insane. I tried to talk to her, but she shut me out. She looked at me like I was a stranger. She said I stab her in the back and that I'm a spoiled brat. Well, maybe she has a point. How can you expect her to welcome you with open arms? You don't get it. And why does she reek of booze like that? Oh, so that's where she was. I'm guessing that the reason why your mom was missing and left early was to hit the bottle. You told me that she went for a walk or something. Yeah, and after that, she probably went to drown her sorrows. But it's barely afternoon. I hate to be the bearer of bad news after what we discussed about your dad, but she's a drunk. Your mom has been drinking ever since you walked out on us. But it got worse and worse as time passed. Me and your brother think it's because of the stress from taking care of your dad. She used to be there for him every day until she gave up and we had to step in. Oh my god, no! This can't be real! How can both mom and dad be sick like this? And this is when I need them the most. I can face her. She thinks I'm nuts. What do you mean? She doesn't give a damn if I'm moving in with her or if I'm pregnant or not. All she wants is cash and that's all that matters to her. That's the first thing she demanded and she won't stop harassing me for it. She snatched my bag and tried to steal my wallet too. Yeah, I saw that coming. So what did he do? And didn't you tell her that you were moving in? You said you did. You told me to pack my bags, right? So she knew you were coming back, right? Listen, I lied to you, okay? I didn't tell her that I was moving in or that I was pregnant. So you mean that I was the only one you confided in? Yes, I wasn't thinking clearly. I don't know what came over to me, okay? But I had a feeling that she wouldn't want me back home. So I decided to just show up and hope that she'd be glad to see me. And I thought Dad would be the same. Oh my god, this is a disaster. It sure is. I could have warned you if you had been nicer to me. Maybe if you'd called me to say you wanted to see me or something, or just been honest from the start. No, but I was panicking. I was under so much pressure. You have no idea. Well, if you had been up front, I might have been more understanding. Or I might have tried to help you out. But I don't know what to say to you, Annabelle, except that you screwed yourself over. I'm sorry, but I've moved on with Robert. So your parents are your problem now. Please, don't do this. I told Mom that I was broke because I was counting on Dad to bail me out. And then she just went berserk and started hurling insults at me. Well, she's hooked on her booze and gambling now, so I knew that was bound to happen too. What did you do with her? Did you give her money? Yeah, I did. But only a little. I barely scraped up $100 every month for her, and that was the most I could do. I used to give her more, but she wasted it all on booze and slots. So Robert and I agreed to cut her off at $100. Which is way too generous, by the way. It is. I know. I totally get it. Then, can you spare her some more? No. I already paid her this month. Then why is she begging me for more? Maybe she blew it all. I don't know. But if she's pestering you for more, then she must have, you know. Then what the hell am I supposed to do? I'm broke as hell myself. Just ignore her, then. I don't know. She learned that I won't give her a dime more than $100, so she stopped harassing me. We had some nasty fights over it in the past. So with me, she knows her limits, I guess. But with you, it looks like you're going to have to draw the line with her. And that's not going to be easy. Oh my god, this is a freaking nightmare! I never wanted to deal with this again. I was supposed to move in. 
Dad was supposed to be normal and wealthy, and Mom was supposed to be normal and sober, and I never wanted to get knocked up. I'm sorry for all this, Annabelle. So, your parents are your problem now. Please, don't do this. I told Mom that I was broke because I was counting on Dad to bail me out. And then, she just went berserk and started hurling insults at me. Well, she's hooked on her booze and gambling now, so... I knew that was bound to happen, too. What did you do with her? Did you give her money? Yeah, I did. But only a little. I barely scraped up $100 every month for her, and that was the most I could do. I used to give her more, but she wasted it all on booze and slots. So Robert and I agreed to cut her off at $100, which is way too generous, by the way. It is, I know, I totally get it. Then, can you spare her some more? No, I already paid her this month. Then why is she begging me for more? Maybe she blew it all, I don't know. But if she's pestering you for more, then she must have, you know. Then what the hell am I supposed to do? I'm broke as hell myself. Just ignore her then. I don't know. She learned that I won't give her a dime more than $100, so she stopped harassing me. We had some nasty fights over it in the past. So with me, she knows her limits, I guess. But with you, it looks like you're going to have to draw the line with her. And that's not going to be easy. Oh my god, this is a freaking nightmare! I never wanted to deal with this again. I was supposed to move in. Dad was supposed to be normal and wealthy, and Mom was supposed to be normal and sober, and I never wanted to get knocked up. I'm sorry for all this, Annabelle. By the way, why didn't you think of an abortion? I know that's a personal choice, but listen, you don't seem like you can handle a baby all by yourself. Exactly. That's why I needed Dad to back me up. I didn't have the cash for an abortion. Okay, then it's too late now. I'm too far along for that. I can't do this. Well, by the way, Robert has been snooping on our messages all this time. He has? What's he thinking about all this? Can he bail me out? Well, he just told me to stay out of this mess and let you figure it out on your own. What? How can he do that to me? You guys aren't even close, right? I know you haven't talked to him in the last four years since you married Greg. Sure, but that was because Greg made me not to. What do you mean? Greg is a super possessive and paranoid guy, okay? He didn't want me to have any contact with my family at all. He didn't even want me to go out for a drink, but I was fed up with him. That's why I decided to go out partying that night with my girls. And then because I wasn't a drinker, I didn't know my limit, and I got wasted. And then that hot guy showed up, and now I'm here. Oh my god, I can't take this anymore. Annabelle, I'm really sorry to hear this. I really am. Let's try to find a way out of this, okay? No, I know the way out already. You just need to come back here with Robert. We just need to erase this whole situation and pretend I never moved in here. Okay, so hypothetically speaking, if we did, then what would you do? You can't reverse your pregnancy, right? You'd still be carrying someone else's kid who you have no clue about. You can't go back to live with Greg either, right? I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. I'm in so much trouble. Or, uh, here's an idea I know. Can I join you guys? This is a brilliant idea. I can come and stay with you guys for a few days and we can sort this out together. Where are you guys at now? Forget it, Annabelle. I'm not giving you our location. We don't need you to drag us down with your troubles. You are my family. You're supposed to support me, aren't you? Oh, we're family now, are we? Funny how you say that when not long ago you treated me like an outsider, huh? You literally said that just because I'm married to your brother? That doesn't make me your family. What changed? Fine. I didn't say that, but it wasn't in my right mind, okay? It was my hormones. Of course you are my family. You've always been. Just because you're desperate for help, you're suddenly acting nice to me? Don't think I'm going to fall for that. No, it's not like that, Camilla. You're my sister-in-law and you always will be, right? 
We're practically sisters. Annabelle, as far as I'm concerned, you can go to hell. You're the one who got yourself into this mess. Like I said before, you made your bed, now lie in it. This is all on you. So, you can rot in hell, or find a way to get out of it on your own. No, no, please. Hear me out. I have nowhere to go. I can live with here, with Dad being a jerk and Mom losing it. At least you have a place to stay. You should be grateful you're not homeless yet. And too bad, but I have to go. Camilla, I'll do anything you want. <laughs> Annabelle, there is nothing that you can do for me. I don't need your help in anything. And I actually don't want anything to do with you anymore. Anyway, honestly, I've never felt so free since I left that house. I don't have to take care of your parents anymore. They used to be nice to me, but they're not the same people. Robert and I are sick of it. You can deal with your parents now, okay? That's your problem now. Not mine. Bye, Annabelle. And good luck. Wait! Please! I need help! Camilla! That night, Annabelle bombarded me with calls and texts, pleading me to come home. I ignored them and turned off my phone. It felt good to detox from everything. The next day, her messages showed she had given up. Weeks later, she and Robert texted and she shared her choices. She and Greg divorced over her cheating, and she worked part-time at the liquor store where Mom got her booze. Mom often came to ask for free drinks. Her addiction would only worsen. And Annabelle might follow her soon. But she had a baby to care for, so I hoped she would straighten up. I wished her the best as a mother. As for Dad, Robert and I paid for his nursing care. It was the best solution. He would move to a home near us soon, and that would ease our minds. As for Robert and me, we picked a house, and we were thrilled. We couldn't wait to move in and start our lives. Our vacation was great, but home is where the heart is, right? And we were happy to make our new home. <laughs>